Krishna is not visible. God is not visible. But He is so kind that He has come before you, visible to your material eyes. Krishna is not visible within this material world, material eyes. Just like Krishna's part and parcel, we are Krishna's part and parcel, all living entities. But we do not see each other. You cannot see me, I do not see you. No, I see you. You see my body. Then, when the soul is born from the body, why you are crying? My father is gone. Why father is gone? Father is lying here. Then what you have seen? You have seen the dead body of your father, not your father. If you cannot see the particle of Krishna, the soul, how you can see Krishna? Therefore, Shastra says, now have a dry young Indriya, this grand material life. He cannot see Krishna or cannot hear Krishna's name, Namad. Nam means name. Nam means name, form, quality, pastime. These things cannot be understood by your material blunt eyes or senses. But they are purified. Sevan Mukhi, Iju Bhavu. He they are purified by process of devotional service. He can see Krishna all time and everywhere. But for ordinary person, all of some, not really. Krishna is everywhere. God is everywhere. Anna-antarastham, Paramanacaya-antarastham. So all of some, Sarva-bhūtāna. Huh? Although Krishna is outside and inside, both. Still, we cannot see Krishna unless we have got the eyes to see Krishna. So this Krishna consciousness moment is to open the eye. How to see Krishna? And if you can see Krishna, antat bahil, then your life is success. Therefore, Shastra says that antat bahil, uh, antat bahil jadi Krishna, samusata tatti, nantar bahil jadi vari, samusata tatti. Everyone is trying to become perfect. But the perfection means when one can see Krishna within and without. That is perfect.